Hey guys, it's Lori here with a post review and framing of Dream Big. This is by Dreamer Designs. The artist is Jane Mayday. It is a 40 by 50. That means that it's gonna go in a 16 by 20 frame. Um, this is a special drill project and I fell in love with it after seeing some people share their progress on Instagram and I knew that I just loved it. This project has everything. It has your regular drills, it has your crystal drills, it has your special stones, it has your ABs, everything. Um, I love the butterflies, I love the roses, I love the mandalas, the dream catcher, the whole shebang, the stars. Look at these special drill stars. How cute are these? This was such a pleasure to work on and I will show you my favorite part. I love the way this looks. Let me bring you down. I love this area where it looks like these are like the strings hanging down from the uh, dream catcher. I just love the way that looks. It's so pretty and it stands out. They used great colors for this. I would say my only downside to this project is the fact that I could not multiplace because if you look, there is a lot of space in between each drill. It's They're not lined up like they normally are. And so kind of like you would do a notebook or a bookmark or that type of project, um, there was space. So there's zero multi-placing. So if that's a deal breaker for you, you would not like this. I mean, a 40 by 50, it's no problem. Here's another problem. <laughs> And this is small, and it's the reason why you're seeing me do this is because, like, <laughs> this whole thing is covered in glue, just like a regular diamond painting. So that means, see that little string? <laughs> um, that in between all these drills is sticky. And so, things are going to get stuck. And I had some flowered Hawaiian lays next to this is what all these little stringy things are. I accidentally laid them on top of it. But anyway, I guess it's better than having to pick Lucy's cat hair out of it. I really tried to be um, careful and I held the clear plastic cover on with some extra cover minders after I had worked an area. Uh, because it just the plastic cover would not stick down so I had to hold it on to keep it covered um, to keep those Lucy hairs off so um, if I was not going to put this behind glass I would definitely seal it with the super glossy Mod Podge because this would get dust attached to it I mean you can tell like listen it's sticky and it's you know you're seeing those those areas that are gonna they're gonna get everything i mean i've got extra drills even picked up here i hope that one didn't come off somewhere <laughs> we'll put him gently to the side and double check before i put him behind glass um i did order the um frame from walmart picked it up with my grocery pickup it is a 16 by 20 poster frame and it was $9.88. So, oh, let me show you. These are my leftover drills. So there was a lot of extras. I kind of just mixed up the um, rounds. And a lot of the bigger stones were left too. So a lot of extras. So I had plenty to work on this. I would definitely recommend this or any of their uh, canvases that are the mixed stones. This was fun and I'm probably going to go back over and pick out another one. So, cause I really enjoyed this. All right, guys, let's see what this looks like framed. Let's go. I wanted to pop in and share with you that this is what 
the poster frame that I was talking about. Just a 16 by 20 rounded black poster frame. Um, it's a very economical way to frame. Uh, if you want to frame, uh, the poster frames tend to be a little less pricey, uh, but you are getting a plastic frame. And I'm not 100%, let's see. I'm not sure, and uh, this, this is acrylic, not glass. Yes, so 16 by 20. All right, let's continue. Okay guys, I just wanted to share with you that I did remove the edges. I cut all these out uh, before I'm going to put it in the frame. And one thing I love about Dreamer Designs canvases is a lot of them have this little extra edge and that does sometimes make a difference when framing. Uh, it does help to have that little bit of edge. I see one more little string I didn't get. I did think I got him with my murder tweezers. <laughs> All right, and you can tell it's sticking to me. The, the, uh, uh, the edge, this little edge strip that I just showed you, it also has glue on it. So definitely if you're not gonna put it behind glass, you would want to seal this with whatever your sealant of choice is. I use Super Gloss Mod Podge. All right, let's get this in. Okay guys, here it is. I put it on that easel that I brought in my Hobby Lobby haul a couple videos back. Um, I believe it's $12.99, 50% off. And it, there it sits beside our gate basket at the edge of our dining room from our kitchen. And it is just simply gorgeous. I love it. I wish you could see the sparkle on here, the way it shows in real life. Just simply gorgeous. I will link this project down in the description along with the frame and maybe the easel if I can find it. So thank you guys for watching along and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And as always, I hope you get to do a little diamond painting. Bye.